Okay, so this is how you do the bailment envelope at the end of your shift. So the speedo reading at the start speedo reading should have been on the envelope from the previous driver. So you write the rego number of the vehicle, clearly your name on it obviously, and then you write down the speedo, the finished speedo, and the, and the envelope that you leave in the taxi, you write this down for the next driver. Then you put the date on it. And then if there's, this is a vehicle checklist, so if there's anything to report on the bus, you, you mark that or you just do what I've done there as ticket. So the next thing, part of this is the meter, is what's termed as the meter reading. And this comes off this docket. You've got these shift totals. And if you remember from a previous video, I said, hey, you log off so you make sure these lots of figures are straight there. So this is your shift, uh, shift total, 29730. So you write that figure down there to 29730. The next one is the less the levy. This is $1.10 per job. And that figure comes what they term as the toll. So this is your figure here. So it's $22 with the tolls. So you write that down there. Then once you've written down, you take this that figure off this figure, and that leaves you a net take of 275. And if you miss any of these things, it's written all beside all the little numbers beside it. But you get the 275 and you divide that, or you multiply that by 55%, and that then, and that says it there, but that then gives you your driver's share of that um, total take for the day. The next thing that you're doing here is what's termed as the white dockets, and that's these dockets here. So that's, that's these dockets that you fill that. You add up all of those dockets, and then you write that amount in there. Now, in the case of this day, I didn't have what's termed as any pur purple dockets, but that you just put a line through there, and that's what that's that's these dockets. These we nicknamed that the, the purple dockets. So that's what those mean. So during the course of your shift, if you had any of these, this is what you'd have filled out, and you'd put the total in there. The next session is your uh, section is your e EFT or your total electronic funds transfer. And I've got that there from this total in here. So I'll show you where I've got that. So this one's the first one. This is your live taxi. That's the, that's the one that, you know, your machine is live taxi. And the, and the company would prefer that you would use it for all credit card transactions. So there's your total there. So there's the $90.30. I write that down the side here. Then these other two credit card um, payments uh, that are here, they've come off here. You can see EFT debit. $4.90 and credit their credit card of $46.39. So I put those two figures there, then I've totaled them out. It just makes it easier for you to do it, uh, makes, makes accounts department easier for them to work it out as well. So you put the total figure into there. Your next figure is what's termed as the MPT less the list. So I'll show you on the docket where this is. And this applies more to the wheelchair taxis than it does to the sedans. So there's your M MPT figure of 129. And here on this particular shift, I did two lifts. And, and it, at this, this is when I'm recording this, this was through COVID-19. So there were extra um, benefits of what it was. It, this is not normally what it was. It was a special bonus while COVID-19 was on. But whatever the figure is there, it's that figure there. So you take that figure there, take that figure away from that figure, and that gives you the MPT less the list. The next thing is the fuel docket. So every time at the end of the shift, you actually get the shift, uh, fuel. And we get all our fuel from AFCO. The reason being is the company gets a discount and we've got access there operating 24-7. So you can see the total there of, of that is 24.35. So you write your tax in. This was a very unusual day and this is not necessarily what you would do as a senior driver, I'm allowed to do this, but one of the USB cables for the live charge had packed up, so I went and bought them a new cable, and that's what that figure is here, and I've provided the receipt for them. But normally most drivers wouldn't be allowed to be able to do that, but, I, but it meant I couldn't use the machine, so I, went, so I went and got it. So you total up all of those figures there, that gives you 277 for the total. The driver's share of the lifts, which we saw was... Um, this figure in here, the lifting fee, the driver, uh, wheelchair driver gets 66% of this figure. 
So that's $84 by 66%. That gives you that figure there of 55.70. So what? So the drivers for this particular day, which was a, a quiet day during COVID-19, so I've got that figure there for me as the driver, and that figure there gives me a total of $207.12 is what I took in that shift for the day. The next step to make it balance, uh, because there's credit card payments and a lot of it, you don't always get uh, cash back. What happens is in this figure in here, what you're doing, and all this is written down the side, so you just follow this, or you can go back and watch this video and see these figures. But So you get this figure, and you take that figure off it, and, and then that gives you that figure. And you can see before there, it says 3 minus 5 equals 7. So there's a dollar seventy-three to balance. You take that figure from my my um, driver share, leaves a balance of two hundred and five thirty-nine. Here's your uh, lift, and this doesn't quite make sense, but just follow just follow the prompts on the side of it. You have that figure there, two hundred five thirty-nine less the twenty-two dollars levy, leaves it for hundred hundred and eighty three thirty-nine. So there's amount of cash that I collected from the day and that's not sitting here. I've already filed it away. But there's a balance that the company owes me of $183. Sometimes you've got to put money in. These days with credit cards and all that, most times the company owes you the money. We submit our envelopes and all the envelopes have got to be in by 8 a.m. the following Monday after the end of the week. The week ends on Sunday night. And then what happens is by the following Thursday, the company deposits the money directly into our account. So that's that part. So the next thing is uh, to make it easy for the for the um, the office. This is what I do. Maybe I'm a bit pertaining, but this is what I recommend that you do just to make it easy for the company. As I get all of these, fold them all up like this, grab all the dockets, pull all them together, and I just put a paper clip. On, on those to make it easy. The other thing that I forgot to mention is that what happens is in here is that for each shift there's a base fee for covering the all the fares and stuff that you get through the through 13 camps is there's a base fee per shift of $8.80 and if you've got um, insurance there's insurance we've got to um, have a bond there up to a, a thousand hold it there's a thousand dollars so each shift what the company's done to make it fair is you put $5 in plus the $8.80, so what is it, $13, $13.80 is what it is. And then once you've, your bond comes up to $1,000, that's written off. And then as what I've got there is, is there's $8.80. So I put it in a little plastic pocket to make it easier for the, for the office to do. Um, I missed one. So this is the uh, live uh, taxi one. I forgot to put this in. So I'll just do this, put it in there. So by doing this, it just makes it easy for the office to uh, do when they come to do the admin. So this is what I do. All of the receipts and the dockets that I've got during the day and I've torn off, I just put a paper clip on those. So I'll just get the envelope like such. Stuff all those into the bottom. And then with this, and the money, just fold it up into there, stick it all in the envelope. If I've got a, a purple docket, I would have actually put that in first, slide that in beside them, and then once you've done that, just seal your envelope, and Bob's your uncle, there it is, your envelope finished and ready to hand in at the shift. The other thing that I do also is I record, so I've got my own record. There's two things I do. Uh, when I Before I hand the envelopes in, I take a photo on my phone, of each one of that so I've got the total breakdown but I also each week record the shifts and put them on to the date of what it was the number of jobs and the money that was there what was my share and what was the share that the office owned so that was just my own record and that can also help you to just keep your own record of what's happening so there you go hope that helps for doing envelopes